Well, all right, guys, we are spicing things up today. We have got someone else on set cooking for us. Let me introduce you to chef and co-owner of Independent Restaurant here in Florida, Chef Hari Papalaka and his wife, Jennifer. We also have uh, a community kitchen director for the Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida uh, and executive chef, uh, Ms. Viola Don Viola. Uh, how are you guys doing, sir? Good morning, Charles. Good, Good morning. to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank so, you for having uh, let's us. get straight to cooking. What are you going to cook for us today? Well, I'm starting a new trend, hopefully, in North America. We're going to have escargot for breakfast. Oh, so, all right. Uh, and escargot you know, is Escargot is snail. snails. Okay. Uh, these are not wild snails, these are farm snails okay. from a beautiful source in Asia. Okay. So, I've started here with clarified butter. Uh -huh. You know, butter that's been cooked down until the milk solids separate and clear. Smells Hence delicious. the wonderful smoking point. I can do this. And don't worry, I'm watching it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Button mushrooms, clarified butter, a little bit of salt. That looks a little bit of garlic. Dangerous. More than a little bit of garlic. Dangerously good. There you go. Like a combination of tarragon and mushroom. I mean and parsley. And now the farmed and beautifully sustained Escargot. All the way from Asia. Now, you know exactly what you're doing. You were a, a James Beard nominated I'm uh, very chef. humbled to be that, yes. You're very humble. Big deal, right? How long have you been cooking? I've been cooking professionally since 2005, so okay. relatively recently in the big scheme of things. And you and you are not only a chef, you are a professor or a tenured professor as well? A tenured professor at Stetson University. Okay. Rollins, Stetson, we're on the same page. No okay. competition okay. here. Uh, I teach mathematics at Stetson. I've been doing so since the year 2000, so okay. quite some time. Great. Well, I'll let you cook on this, Dawn. Now, we want to talk about uh, uh, Second Harvest. Yes. So, uh, at Second Harvest, we, um, we have a brand new community kitchen. Mm. We do a, a few different things. We have a culinary program, so we work with adults that have had a history of poverty um, or trying to get back on their feet. We put them through a 12-week program with culinary and life skills. And then we help them with job assistance after that. So uh, our first class that we graduated, we were able to place all of the students in jobs in Central Florida that are above minimum wage. So it's a really successful program. And um, we get to do fun things like our guest chef night. Right, so this with, is what's coming up. This yeah, you so our, two are here together. Yes, um, our very first one features Chef Harry and Jennifer helping out with the wine selections. Mm. And we are just so excited to get them in there and cook with our students and give them that experience. The other side to that, though, is that it's one of our biggest fundraisers. Oh, so the program is free to the students in, in, the, um, in the culinary program. So we use these fundraisers to help us support that. And for every dollar raised, um, we are able to produce $9 worth of food. So it not only goes to the program to support the students, it also goes to help support the community and feed the community as well. Cooking for good. You guys are, this is the first time you guys are involved with this? Uh, with this particular? This yeah. so you guys it's for our are, anniversary. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. our five-year anniversary. It's their inaugural dinner. Yeah, We're really it's excited. So it's it's the big launch of their community kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited about that. Great. So are the uh, escargot going to be on the menu or no? It's on the menu. Maybe, not. Maybe it could be. We it have something be. called <laughs> amus bush, which uh -huh. I have not created yet. Okay, okay. So and <laughs> that, it could be that. We'll see how this is received today, you know? Okay. This is done, believe it or not. It's done. I so got some nice crusty bread. All right, so we can have it. So this is how you serve uh, snails, serve snails, in case you guys at home don't know. And nice uh, squeeze of fresh lemon at the very end, to brighten up the dish. That is nothing but butter, garlic, mushrooms, and snails. Clarified butter. Well, clarif let me, let me let's clarify, clarify the butter. Let's <laughs> clarify the butter. It's a whole lot of butter. It's a whole uh, lot of so butter. So let's, let's, can we dig in on this? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, okay. If you don't mind the plate. chef that I am, I got to taste it. I'm not going to yeah. serve it if I can't taste it first. Don't let him probably put some over there. Okay, well, I'll let you guys. Jennifer here is the master. Server. Yes, All right, here we go. So we I don't go. always make a mess. So of take a little like bread. This. So you're saying uh, that's it. Just take, put, this is ready to go. It's ready to go. All right, let's put yeah. a little bit on the bread and let's taste your let's masterful this. creation. And here. be gentle, okay? All right. So Harry, if you didn't want to go the escargot route, what could you substitute? You could substitute a variety of exotic mushrooms. All right, that's yes, the whole intent. We are out of time. I want to taste it so much. More information on our guys here. Go to our website. Uh, you're watching the Daily Buzz. Stay tuned. Thank you.